So I, yeah. you know, I just try to figure out solutions for other people. So we are investors and we do do, we do do different strategies in the area. So, um, okay. you know, we fix and flip. We, we also buy and hold, you know, we rent them out just like you do, um, uh, things like that. So, um, and we also work with other investors as well and they, yeah. they do some of those as well. So to do better in their business, but I also have to. I don't know how to do it. Hey everyone, uh, this is a, uh, I am following up with some past due follow-up leads and so we'll see how this goes. I, this is going to be my first time recording this and uh, so I'm trying something new. Uh, if you like more of these, please do subscribe and comment down below and hit the like button. All right. All right. Without further ado, let's start off. And these are random ones that I have uh, just during my CRM, which I use Podio. And so I'm going to try these out. Please leave your message for 2482. Try again, just because if you haven't called twice, you haven't called once. Please leave your message for. Hey, Mary, this is Randy. I just wanted to give you a call and follow up about your property in Madison Heights. Uh, give me a call back at 586-307-4765. Again, 586-307-4765. Thank you. There's not the answer, but I will follow up. So I will set a task to follow up. I'll set one up for tomorrow because there's no answer. Okay, back to my tasks. Hello, you've reached Freestyle and Mark. Please leave a detailed message or I will not call you back. I'm saying call me back is not a message. Thank you, bye-bye. Hi, Mark. This is Randy. Uh, I talked with you a few months ago about your property in Warren and in Roseville. So I just kind of following up just to kind of see where you're at on those properties. Give me a call back at 586-307-4765. Again, 586-307-4765. Love to hear from you. See if there's any way we can help out, help you out with those properties. Thank you. No one said that this is Gloriful. <laughs> so you always got to follow a system no matter what you're doing. Uh, so that's just kind of what I'm trying to do is follow a system, even with my follow ups. Property, I'm looking through my notes before I call them. So this guy said he has a tenant in the property to call back at the end of September. Uh, it's a little bit later than that, but we'll, we will try. Hello. Hey, Mark. Is this uh, this is Randy? How are you doing today? Good. How are you? Awesome. I, I talked with you a few months back about your property in Farmington Hills on Stockton. Mm -hmm. So oh. yeah, I just wanted to follow up with you to see. Uh, last time we talked, you were talking about your tenant. You you weren't sure whether you're going to sell it or not because you got a tenant in there, things like that. So. Mm -hmm. I uh, just kind of wanted to get an update, see if you're interested in selling it or not. Yeah, we're going to see a uh, end of January. So looks like he's going to move out tenants. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so you can call in that time so we can see them. Oh, okay. So they run the end of, end of January or so? Yeah. Yeah. Sometime. Yeah. Okay. Do you know uh, about how much you're going to be wanting to get for it? Uh, uh -huh. No, right now. No, right now. No, I'm going to see after he move out. <laughs> yeah, you got to see the damage that they put in, right? So <laughs> I understand that. Yeah. So, 
yeah. But, so, but uh, like, no problem. Well, you call me. No problem. So I, I'll I'll give you a call around around the end of okay. January. All okay. right. All right. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Have a good day. You too. All right. Hey, let's call back end of January. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Five, eight. All right. Just in case, then we'll leave a message. Hello, how may I address your call? Hi, yes, is Donald there? Yes, he is. How may I address your call? Uh, yeah, my name is Randy. We spoke with uh, spoke a couple months ago about your property on Chalmers Avenue in Warren, and so I just kind of wanted to yep. pull up on the property and and see if you've already, one if you've already sold it or two if you're still interested in selling it. Yes, I sold it. Oh, you sold it! Awesome. So, what'd you end up selling yep. it for? If you don't mind me asking, eighty-two. Eighty-two. Oh man, you made out like a bandit. So that's awesome. So do you have any other properties that you might be interested in selling? I do not. Okay. Awesome. Did you end up going with a realtor? Just curious. A guy called me up and uh, he said he's looking to invest. And I said, all right. He offered me uh, 62 and I said 82. Okay. Said, Can we meet in the middle of 72? I said, absolutely not. 82. You called me. It's not for sale. Got it. And uh, they called me back about a week later. He says, we can do 82. We have a buyer. Okay. Said, okay. Well, that, that's awesome. So, uh, cool. Well, I do appreciate the, at least let me know. And, uh, I, unfortunately, <laughs> I, I won't follow up with you again, but if you do have any other properties or know of anybody, uh, we are constantly buying. So this is my number. This goes straight to my cell phone. So feel free to give me a call. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. with at least a hey do you have anything else or do you know anybody else who's looking to sell so um because you never know so we're going to complete that hello hi it's charles yeah just speaking to him Hey, Charles, this is Randy. I spoke with you a few months ago about your property in Waterford on Hatchery. And okay. Yeah, so just wanted to talk with you real quick, uh, see if you still have that property and, uh, you know, see if you're still interested in selling it. Well, I do, and I've got it rented out now. Oh, okay. So it's, not up, it's not up for sale. Okay. Um, sometimes we do buy houses with tenants still in them, so... Um, what, what's yeah. the, I mean, if you're interested, I'm not, I'm not trying to force you by any means. So, yeah, I uh, um, so, uh, what, you know, I mean, if you are interested in selling, um, with the tenant well, in there, what would be the price you're looking to get? I have a lot of properties that for, for sale. Oh, okay. But I have learned that investors don't want to pay anywhere near what they're worth. I'm far mm. better off selling it to a real estate company. Okay. You know, that's the way it is. So, <laughs> no, I, can, I completely understand that. So I, yeah. you know, I just try to figure out solutions for other people. So we are investors and we do do, we do do different strategies in the area. So, um, okay. you know, we fix and flip. We, we also buy and hold, you know, we rent them out just like you do. Um, things like that. So, um, and we also work with other investors as well, and they yes. they do some of those as well. So, um, yes. you know, some of the other properties you have, where are they located at? All over, from Florida to Northern Michigan. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, but <laughs> I'll give you an example. Uh, yeah. I had the place in Florida. Um, mm -hmm. One of them, it, it sold for two hundred and four thousand dollars, and okay. the guy. Offered me thirty five thousand for it. That kind of soured me. So oh wow! I didn't yeah, want to I, waste my time anymore. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we're that far off, but 
it's like you know that, that that's a difference that's a huge difference so yeah. um you know well, so, he was trying to take advantage of the hurricane down there oh okay i got it but it was a vacant land vacant land there was nothing on it <laughs> so oh, there was okay. no hurricane damage he was just being greedy i'd give you uh, a name yeah oh no that, no, no worry about that thing. so yeah, I avoid that well, yeah, most definitely. And, and I, I run my business on open and honesty, to be honest. I still have to make a buck just like you do. Um, but, <laughs> you know, I, but we have, uh, I at least try to be open and honest with you. And, and if I think you'll get more out of it by putting it with a realtor, I'm going to be, I'm going to tell you that. So um, things like that. But well, uh, I'm, I'm you standing know, in the garage of a place that's going to go up for sale real quick. Oh, okay. So, Where's it at? Forty Line Road. Okay. Uh, that's Ortonville. Okay. Okay. So you, you could look that up on the internet <laughs> and see. Yeah, um, and, I'm looking it up right now. So, what are you thinking about? Um, what is going to go on the market for? Uh, well, let's see. Uh, we've had a CMA. For two hundred, three hundred and thirty thousand. That's okay. what we've had at CMA C- comparative market analysis. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, yes. It, it basically they're supposed to do it as as is value. Um, for that's what a CMA is. Um, okay. You know, not an after repair value, but a lot of times what they do is uh, at least realtors, in my opinion, they'll 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 confuse a, a CMA with a ARV and the ARV is an after repair value and a CMA should be the uh, current market value. Okay. So okay. At, with, 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 with the condition it's in now. So uh, what's the, yeah. what is the condition it's in now? Well, it needs uh, cosmetic. Cosmetic We're updates. Clean, yeah. Yeah. That was okay. just painted a couple of years ago. Uh, porch needs to be retouched up. It's yeah, nothing major. It's all uh, carpeting's got to be cleaned. And yeah, uh, it looks like it's on a two-acre yeah. lot, just about right. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Okay, about eighteen hundred square feet. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, if you're looking at it on the internet. You yeah, can. no, that that that's what I'm looking at right now. I just want to make sure I got okay. the right one. So well, I'm standing uh, in the garage. I'll wait to you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yep. So, yeah. Um, so what what price are you looking to get out of it at the moment? So, like, what do you think you're going to put it up there for? for full market, full market value for the CMA? Well, um, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So yeah. most definitely, yeah. That, I mean, it, it it looks like a decent house uh, from what I can see. I'm only seeing from above. So, mm-hmm. uh, um, and. You know, but uh, I'd have to dig into it for a little bit more. But I, I wouldn't be able to come in at that price just because I got to be able to make some money as well. So, um, yeah. and, how much money and, do you have to make? <laughs> uh, so I usually leave about uh, about a twenty five percent value okay. for home costs, closing costs. That that helps me with all that. So by the end of it, I'm hoping to make at least ten percent. I'm going to be honest with you. So after all fees and done, you know, everything's done. I'm hope I I'm looking to make about 10%. So I have okay. to leave enough room for that. Um, but you know, it, it, it's usually the standard in my opinion. Um, but everyone's different on their numbers. So, uh, with that, you know what it's gonna, yeah, you know uh, it's cold. <laughs> That's all right. How do you how do you price it then? Who do you sell it to? Uh, so I work with other investors. Uh, if I'm going to work with other investors, then then they'll either buy and hold it, basically rent it out, or I'll do the same thing. Or if I'm going to fix and flip it, okay. So like for instance, if if I were to do it, if after repair value is say what you said, the three thirty, um, yeah. then and I have to put say we'll be conservative and say 20,000 into it. Okay. Just to, uh, just to refresh it up and things like that. Then I, okay. uh, 
So I put 20,000 in and uh, then I still need to come in. Let me bring up yeah. my calculator. So, okay. <laughs> uh, so 330, we're going to do. Okay. 330 times minus say 20k so i'd probably be down at like my offer to you based on the those just those numbers would probably be right around 211 you know okay yeah which is, so which is not good you know? yeah i know i Yep. I mean, I, I'm not offering you 35 grand for it by any means. So I, you know, my, mine's just based off the numbers, you know, yeah. so, yeah. but, uh, this is an estate sale. Oh, okay. So it has to be approved by the probate court, et cetera. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Well, that kind of complicates things. Yeah. It's a nice house. Really. <laughs> it's yeah. One of those designer houses that the, the contractor built to show everybody else. Mm -hmm. So, that itself is pretty decent. But, uh, okay. Well, uh, do you have any other properties that might be a little bit more distressed that you'd be willing to let go? Not for those kind of prices. No. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah. So, I have yeah. a lot of houses and they're okay. all up for sale. It's the prices, right? You could have them. But I've had. Uh, Many investors look for it, and first thing they say, "Well, how much is it worth?" And then yep. right away they take their percentage off and said, "We'll give you this." And I just didn't want to waste my time anymore. No, I I and understand that. Not distress. No, if it was distress. Yeah, I could see it. Okay. But, uh, well, but you know, real estate, you 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 buy it for a price, and you just wait a few months, and the darn thing goes up in price. <laughs> you know. Exactly. So, well. If you don't get your money back right away, you will get it back by just waiting. Exactly. So, yeah. um, and I tell people if they can afford to wait, wait, you know, most definitely. Um, I'm just here to help, help people with solutions. That's all. But uh, another another way we do things as well is sometimes we, we can give a little bit more money um, is if we do uh, uh, like a seller finance. So now instead of the instead of us going out and say either getting a loan or doing a hard money because of cash, because cash is expensive, you know, um, yeah. you know, we would uh, you would become the bank. And now if we're going to say buy and hold it, uh, we can do it's something like a land contract. If you if you've ever done those um, oh. where where now. All, we take over the property, we own the property, and now you just become, we pay you every month. And now you become the bank, you know. Um, as long as we can cash flow um, on the property, then that's where we that's where we would look for. You know, we, we still have to make money. And if we can yeah. cash flow, then, then the, it's a win-win situation. We give you a little bit more money, and we, we make money in return, you know. Okay. I so... See. I see. Yeah, most definitely. So, if that's something you're interested in, and any of your other properties, please. I mean, I'm I'm happy to look at them and at least give you an offer. Well, I did have a guy offer me a million dollars for for my portfolio, mm -hmm. and uh, I said, "Okay, we got a deal." And <laughs> he couldn't come up with the money. He couldn't come okay. up with it. Yeah, and the one property. He uh, was going to resell it, and he okay. listed it under MLS. He didn't even own it. I didn't right. think you could do that if you didn't own it. If if you he had it under contract with you, and it's in his contract, he can. So well, um, basically, the it's, was, he was it, going to put down earnest money, and yep. he never did. Oh, then he if he never put down. Yeah, if he never put down earnest money, then he didn't have any rights to it. If it, as long as he had earnest money in the contract, that is. So. Yeah. No, he didn't pay. How do okay. I get it off the MLS? Um, is it still listed for sale on the MLS? Yes, it's listed there right now. Okay. Uh, what you would do is you call the agent that uh, that it's listed through, and you can tell them, tell them to take it down. So. 
So it's up to the agents to do it. So I don't have to go through the MLS service. Huh? Uh, no, it's whoever it's whoever put the the listing on the MLS. Okay. So and that would be through that agent, and you should be able to get access to that agent. Like you can go to Redfin and find out who's the agent and give them a call. Well, this is in Florida. I yeah, I mean that can... that's and well that's anywhere. You can just get them to get a phone number. So you know. Yeah. And but, uh, there's drug drug dealing too. Right. It's, I have a sheriff watching it for me, mm -hmm. and my neighbors tell me whenever this guy is using the property, uh, he called me, and I call the sheriff, and the sheriff gets over there, nobody there. Right. So it's 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 a nasty situation. No, I I completely get that. So, but uh, I I'd be happy to you know walk over any of the properties you know and kind of go from there. What I'll do is I have this email here for you. Um, I believe you gave it to me last time. Um, I can okay. I can send you an email, and uh, if you send me a list of any properties that you'd be interested in seller financing, we can talk about that. Um, if not, that's perfectly fine too. So, all okay. right. Well, I'm I'm 81 years old, so you know, time is of the essence. Yeah, we can set up a live tomorrow. We can set up a balloon payment, or put it and you can put it in a trust for family members, things like that. That's up to you. So oh. um, we've had people do that in the past. So, okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. I appreciate that. I, I, I'll talk to you later and have a great day. I'll send you an email. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye. You just wanted to talk, talk, talk. So on those type of things, you can kind of pivot if they have properties, um, kind of plant the seed. And then just follow up with them. So, and so right now we're going to stop for now and then maybe continue later on. There was once a day that I would pray for you. I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too. Sneaking looks up and down from across the room. Damn, what a hell of a view.